Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Fresh Friday. Today, we are going to be making mocktails. These are perfect for the summer. They are wonderful. And of course, they have a feature, and it is strawberries. I'm so excited. We went out to Red Barn Farm up in Dry Ridge, Kentucky, got to talk with Farmer Keith, an old friend of mine from the Lexington Farmer's Market, and it was wonderful. He had so many beautiful rows and rows of strawberries. It was really busy on a Tuesday, and there have even been families that have picked 45 pounds of strawberries. So if you think you can beat that, or if you just wanna see some beautiful strawberries, you should definitely go and visit, and let's get into these mocktails. We're gonna start with our strawberry Moscow mule. So to a cocktail shaker, I'm going to add some of our fresh strawberries from Red Barn Farm. We're gonna use a muddler to muddle these down, and if you don't have one, that's okay. You can use a blender or even just a wooden spoon to break these up. We're gonna add in some ice, some freshly squeezed lime juice. This is the juice of about one lime. We're also gonna add in some club soda. And then of course, this wouldn't be a mule if we didn't add in some ginger beer, which of course isn't real beer. It's just going to give the mocktail a nice gingery spice. You're gonna give this a nice vigorous shake. Of course, not spilling anything. I just secretly hid that part. And we're going to pour this into our favorite glass. You might have to shake it around a little bit because the strawberries can get a little bit stuck. So then we're gonna garnish it with a lime and it is ready to go. This is delicious and will be perfect for summer. Up next, we have our strawberry mojito. So to a glass, I'm adding our strawberries, some mint leaves, a little bit of simple syrup, and we're going to muddle this down the same way we did for the Moscow Mule. Once we get this all combined and fully immersed together, we're gonna add some ice to our glass. We're gonna add a little bit more ice and of course fill it, so just knock it off to the side. We're gonna add some lime juice, some club soda to top it all off, and then give this a nice mix. Look how beautiful this is. I would recommend maybe straining this so you don't have as many strawberry chunks, but it is quite beautiful. And then of course, we are going to be making a strawberry lemonade. So to our cocktail shaker, we're going to add some beautiful strawberries. We're going to muddle these again like we have with the past two recipes. We're gonna add in some lemon juice, some simple syrup, and then some ice just to cool it all down. We're gonna give this a really, really good shake. Make sure everything is fully combined. And then for our glass, I just added a little bit of sugar to the bottom of this bowl. We're gonna wipe the rim of the glass with some lemon juice and then dip it into the sugar so we have a sugar rimmed glass. Then you just pour your lemonade into your glass, garnish it with a lemon, and you are good to go. I hope you all give these recipes a try and let us know if you do. And be sure to check out Red Barn Farm in Dry Ridge, Kentucky. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you next week.